guys, Dr. Dobson, and in this video we're just going to be repairing a fractured molar. We did this one just this morning. Uh, this patient's actually a friend of mine, and he was curious to see what the process looked like, so we recorded it, and I just threw this together this evening. So we're going to get started by uh, isolating the quadrant of teeth with a rubber dam, putting it on the second molar to the midline, and we would have given a cartridge of anesthetic into the mandibular nerve prior to getting going here. There's the broken tooth. It's the first molar and the front tongue side cusp has fractured away. It had an existing uh, composite filling. So the plan is just to remove the old filling, put a band around the tooth and then fill it all back up with a new filling, which I'm sure is going to do fine. You could make an argument to put a crown on a tooth like this, but it probably would be overkill. There's plenty of tooth left to retain a filling replacing that cusp. So we're going to remove the old filling, taking care not to drill away any of the natural tooth that we don't need to. And I'll just take a moment to say that I know I haven't really been posting many videos to this channel. I have a lot of content that's waiting to be produced, but it actually takes a lot of time and effort to edit and produce these videos. So I will get to it at some point, but just haven't been focused on it lately. So I'm going to check with the mirror and we can see there's a couple more spots of, of the old filling that we're going to remove with a slow speed carbide burr here, getting that patch in the back and then we'll get the, the other patch here. And that one just jumps right out. So we have most of the old filling out and we're just going to round off any sharp internal edges from the inside surface of the prep. Make it nice and smooth. And then we're going to check to see that all the composites been removed. We're pretty much ready to put a band around the tooth. One more little spot that we're just going to drill out there. It just jumps right out. And now we're ready to put the band around the tooth which is just something that holds the filling material in place. And it can be a little tricky to get these things on when the contacts are still intact. So sometimes I'll use an instrument to wedge the teeth apart so that the band can slide down in place. Got the, got the front side down and we're going to do the same thing for the back side here, just placing the instrument between the teeth and wedging them apart, pushing the band in, and we got the band on there. So I'm going to slide it down as far as it will go and then cinch it up as tight as we can. And then we're ready to fill the thing up. So we're going to condition the surface of the tooth for bonding. going to dry it off, apply our Sweet Baby Ray's Acid Etch for about five seconds before rinsing it off thoroughly. And that's just a conditioner that cleans the surface of the tooth so that the filling bonds tighter. Gonna rinse it off thoroughly, dry the tooth, and then Jackie's gonna mix up the Equia Forte and it's gonna go right from the mixer into the tooth. And we're gonna fill it up. Typically overfill the cavity and then pack the excess material in with a moist cotton pellet to make sure that it's well adapted to the surface of the tooth and the margins. A few moments later. And then I'll typically wait about four minutes uh, before going back to let the material set before going back and removing the excess. And here we are with a large round diamond taking away the excess filling material until we're back on the natural margins. And once we've done the gross reduction with a diamond, then we're going to go in with a carbide burr in just a moment here. So we got most of it away and then we're going to use a carbide burr to do our refining touches. And this material is so easy to adjust because when it's dry, you can clearly see the margins. And then we're going to smooth off that corner of the cusp that we replaced. Going to take off the rubber dam pretty soon here. 
take off the rubber dam and then smooth off the tongue side surface of the tooth here so that it's flush with a carbide flame. And then kind of round off that corner there as well. And you can see maybe there's a little bit of decalcification on the mesial aspect, but the bite wing did not show anything significant, so that's not going to be an issue. Got the filling pretty much shaped the way we want it, so we're going to check the bite. For the first time, I'll typically have the patient bite down really lightly and slide around. We don't see any contact, so we're going to have them bite down a little bit harder and grind. No contact on the filling, bite down as hard as you can and grind as hard as you can and no contact on the filling so we're pretty much ready to seal it up we're gonna wipe off the dye with my thumb and then gonna dry dry the filling material before applying our varnish which just coats up the surface makes it smooth to the tongue and that's just gonna get air thinned and then light cured check with some floss to make sure that we can still get in between there and that's pretty much finished this one's going to do well slurp slurp <laughs>